<laughs> Hi, we're Paul and Eva from Finca Flores Amarillas, a five-star bed and breakfast in Extremadura in Spain. Hola, somos Paul e Eva, los propietarios de Finca Flores Amarillas, una casa rural de cinco estrellas en pleno corazón de Extremadura. That's right. And today, another beautiful day here on the Finca. Um, and so we're off on another walk. And we'd just like to show you um, a new walk that we've indicated with arrows. It's the Blue Walk here. Um, and it's really um, a very easy walk that you can do. It's very flat and doesn't take too much time, probably. Uh, without well, without stop stopping about half an hour, mm. maybe. But mm. um, what's quite nice about the walk is that you will want to stop. Uh, there's possibility of seeing some animals, which uh, would be great if you've got kids with you mm. um, to stop and take some pictures. Uh, you're very likely to see cows to start with, um, probably some sheep. Uh, also, there's the Iberian pig along the way, and what else? Uh, horses, maybe? Yeah, and possibly some, some goats mixed in with the sheep goats, as well. Goats yeah. as well, yeah. Depending on the time of the year. Yeah, and they, they come yeah. and go, but... We can't guarantee <laughs> yeah. that you will see yeah. them all, but... Um, yeah, but it's fun yeah. to watch out for them, yeah. Uh, yeah. especially with the kids. Yeah. Esta es la primera parada. Eh, hasta ahora hemos visto las vacas y aquí es donde normalmente están los cerdos. Pero es verdad que el corral es muy largo y sube hacia la montaña. Entonces hay veces cuando se quedan ahí arriba. Lo único que tenéis que hacer para verlos es volver unos 50 metros hacia la casa y meteros a la derecha. Hay un camino y vais subiendo por el camino y viendo un poco a vuestra derecha si, si veis a los cerdos. Así que es lo que vamos a hacer nosotros ahora, a ver si, si tenemos suerte. Sí. Yep, that's right. Okay. So we've just gone past the cows and we're coming down the track now. And this little finca behind us is where you can normally see the Iberian pigs. Um, now, if you don't see them uh, right in front of you, uh, try to just go back, um, what, about 50 meters back up the, mm -hmm. the way that you've come and you'll see a little turning, uh, a little path uh, on, your right. on, on your right from here. Um, and sometimes you'll see the pigs at the, uh, at the far end of the finca. Yeah, um, so just walk up a little bit and look yeah. to your right and you're likely to... Um, There's a good chance, yeah, because yeah. they've got their little house there and they, they yeah. normally sleep there. So, so they are fed yeah. as well. So it's so worth having we'll, a look. We'll have a look now and see yeah. if, if we are lucky. Yeah. Yep. Come on then. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, so we were right. They are here. Yeah. Uh, we've got um, a, couple a, cup, of a couple of adults and some babies there. Yeah. And... Um, it looks like they're uh, enjoying the sun. Yeah, <laughs> teníamos a razón. Um, nos hemos encontrado con un par de familias de cerdos aquí, así que hay unos cuantos adultos y varios cerditos pequeños. Así que vamos a grabarlos ahora para que los veáis. Okay, pues aquí. Que hemos ha hecho 100 metros desde yeah. donde están los cerdos, pues aquí a la derecha están ovejas, ¿vale? Hay un señor que tiene cinco ovejas, un macho y cuatro hembras, y nos está contando que las cuatro hembras están embarazadas, empriñadas. Entonces calcula que en abril o mayo va a haber borreguinos aquí, no sé cuántos, <laughs> pero bueno, habrá, habrá alguno. Uh, in, esa, in esa fecha. Yeah, they look so cute, don't oh, they? Yeah, so yeah. cute. Okay, so we've just come past the, the pigs, uh, about 100 meters further Maybe. on. Yeah. Um, you can see here, you'll see um, on your right, as you mm -hmm. walk down yeah. from, towards the village, um, there's a little finca here, um, and we've just, uh, well, you can see the sheep, and we've just been told the owner's here right now, and he's just told us a little bit, uh, there's five sheep here, and one of them is um, male, and there's four female sheep, 
Um, all pregnant. And they're all pregnant, right? Yes. I couldn't tell that by looking. <laughs> but um, apparently they're pregnant and there's going to be lambs in the spring. So yeah, April, May. Yeah, so yeah. that would be nice because they look so cute, the little yeah. lambs. And, uh, Children really enjoy. It's great to see that, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, let's keep walking. Let's keep going. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so just another quick stop here because um, this finca behind us is um, very often you can see cows here. It's um, huge. It's an enormous finca. It stretches right across this hillside. If you don't see the cows there, you might see cows um, here. Uh, just on this side of the finca as well. So it's worth keeping an eye out yeah. for that. And if they're not there and they're not here, they might be in front of our house. <laughs> It could be anywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, <laughs> yeah. They move around a they lot. They move around a lot and it's a huge finca. So, um, yeah, if you see them at our house, then you won't see them here, obviously. Vale, bueno, pues hemos parado aquí. Hola. <laughs> hemos parado aquí porque aquí muchas veces podéis ver vacas. Es verdad que esta finca es enorme, ¿vale? Si las vacas no están aquí, es posible que están en el otro lado. O sea, eh, el camino que hemos hecho ahora para bajar hacia el pueblo, pues, pues eh, hay veces que se ven ahí, si no, se ven aquí y otras veces están justo al lado de, de nuestra casa. Okay, so we're almost back at the Finca now, just about another five minutes to go. Uh, it's straight up this narrow lane just uh, behind me here. And just so that you can't miss it, uh, you'll see it well indicated with the, uh, the blue arrow, which is the walk we're doing now. Um, but this is where it actually joins one of our other walks, which is the yellow walk here, you can see with the yellow arrow. And just go straight up the lane. And if you're lucky, you might see uh, two or three horses that are sometimes on one of the finkers up here. It's really worth looking out for because they're so beautiful. And over here on the, uh, just a little bit up uh, the lane uh, to, uh, to my right here, um, you can actually hear them now. There's a flock of sheep there. Bueno, lo que os ha dicho Paul en inglés, lo voy a repetir yo ahora en castellano. Uh, estábamos a punto ya de meternos en el camino que nos lleva a casa, pero hemos escuchado aquí a estas ovejas y hemos querido acercarnos un poquito. Antes hemos visto cinco, pero aquí hay un montón, no sé si a lo mejor dos o tres decenas y borreguinos. Precioso, precioso, mirad. Mirad cuántas son y muchas veces se acercan a saludar. Precioso. Uy, tienen aquí a un perro pastor. Hola, ¿qué tal? <risa> bueno, esta es la finca donde hay veces que se pueden ver caballos, ¿vale? Ahora no, no tenemos esa suerte, pero estamos ya en la entrada a, bueno, la entrada antigua a Finca Flores Amarillas, ¿vale? Ya hemos llegado al final, el sol ya se está poniendo, ya hace frío y nada, os vamos a dejar y hasta la próxima.